Hi, I'm Tavleen from Woo Funnels, and I am stoked to announce that we're introducing Link Triggers for Autonomy. Autonomy is your WordPress marketing automation engine and a lightweight CRM. So let's back up a little bit and understand what are link triggers? What is a link trigger exactly? Well, it's more than just a link. It is a link that you put out in your email or even on a page, which when clicked by your users, well, not only does it tell you how many times a particular link was clicked, not only can you track that, but also it triggers an action automatically. What type of action? I know you're asking that. So you can add or remove a tag on a contact. So just by clicking the link automatically, a tag which you define can get added on the contact or removed from the contact. They can be added or removed from a specified list. You can end an automation and you can update custom feed. Well, that's just a small snapshot of what you can do. There is a lot more to it. Okay, now let's understand link triggers through different use cases. So where can you use link triggers? When can you use link triggers? That's the basic question. Now, the number one use case is to identify the persona, which is when you really want to ask your audience more about themselves, like what stage uh, of journey they are at, what goals they'd like to have met and more. So here's an example from Double Your Freelancing. As you can see at the end of this email, well, they ask you, why did you join this course with three distinct options? So you can say, I'm just starting out or I'm doing okay and want to do better, or I've been struggling. So well, this will uh, enable them to update custom field about you, send you future content based on the option that you send selected. And also, when the marketeer is viewing the contacts profile, it'll give them a clear picture of who they are and what stage of journey they are at. The second use case is to gauge interest. Instead of sending out an email saying that, hey, uh, here's a new product that I just launched and here's the link to buy, or uh, I have, uh, this is a sale, a Black Friday special sale that I have for you. Here's the link to go ahead and explore more or buy you kind of send them an email saying that, look, this is what I'm working on, or this is the new product that I'm going to be launching. Are you interested in joining this program? Or would you be interested in hearing more about it when it comes out or, or something like that? And then you kind of get them to opt in and sign up uh, for it once they click on, uh, yes, I am. Well, this works psychologically as well because it's true to the principle of commitment and consistency. People want to opt in, people want to be asked, right? So here is an example of this use case from Copy Hackers, and it's, it's just a very simple and a very concise email, which is what I love about it. It's short and to the point. So it just says that we're this close to launching something which will make your, your uh, campaigns, all your seasonal sale campaigns that you write a total breeze. If you want um, $500 off on the launch day, and then they also specify when the launch day is, which is again, great because specificity is, is, is really a Amazing to get people to say yes. And then there are two options. Yep, give me $500 in instant savings on the launch day or no thanks. So you can click on one of these. Once you do that, you will be added to a list of interested prospects. And then the emails about this particular launch will be sent out to that specified list, which will make the Open rates, the click-through rates shoot through the roof and the conversion from that list will also be really high. What will be low? The unsubscribe rate, which is brilliant. It's every marketer's dream. Now, the use case number three is to gather information. So in our case, we want to know what your favorite page builder is. So we can send out an email uh, to our list asking them and then giving them four or five options like Elementor, Divi, Oxygen, Beaver, and so on. And based on the option they select, we can 
yes, we can tailor future information. We can update their custom fields to know about every contact in greater detail. Uh, we can also find out how many clicks each option got. So what future integration we should roll out? We have a clear picture right in front of our eyes. So this is an example from Content Bistro. They give you three options. I want to master everything about evergreen launches. I want to master everything about service business. And third is I want to learn everything about writing my copy. So they kind of identify you uh, and they also gather more information about you. They can tailor future. They can decide what their uh, content calendar is going to look like and well, how it's, uh, this can completely shape their content strategy, which is amazing. The next use case that I have for you is to provide a freebie or a coupon code. Now, well, what you can do is uh, that if you are working on a freebie, you can send out an email saying that, hey, I've been working on this, insert your desirable topic over the weekend. And if you would like to have access to it once it's done, then click here. And this would allow you to generate a lot of desire for that free offer instead of just sending out an email saying, hey, this is the free offer that I have for you. This is the freebie that I have for you. You can do the same thing for a coupon code, send out an email saying that if you want this, click here and then add a tag and send out an email with what they want, with the coupon code. The next use case is to remove a contact from an automation. So let's say that you have a launch or you are an affiliate for a product launch. Instead of sending out the entire sequence to them without seeking permission, you can send out the first email informing them that this is what you're launching, maybe by partnering up with someone or maybe it's your own uh, program. But you can give them the option to unsubscribe and not hear more about it from then on, from that email onwards. So what will happen is that while they will get removed from that particular automation, they will continue to hear more about your regular product update so your newsletters and so on. So they will continue to hear from you, but they will not learn more about that particular launch that you're doing. Here's a brilliant example. Right in the beginning, they say, before you scroll anymore, feel free to click this link if you don't want to hear any more about the program. And then they continue to build the case for that offer. So when you click on this link, you are redirected to a page that says, uh, thank you, while you will continue to receive more updates about our other products and the newsletters, you won't hear more about this, so which is great. The next use case is to track the number of downloads of your PDF. So this would let you see when uh, you send out an email with the link to a PDF that you created, well, you can check how many clicks that PDF got, how many people actually clicked through to read more and learn more. So that's what you can do. So those are some of the use cases. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that you can do with link triggers. So now I'm going to actually take you behind the scenes and show you how to set up link triggers because you've seen what link triggers are, why you need to use them through different use cases. And now it's time to Go behind the scenes and set up link triggers. Let's do that. Okay, so here we are in the back end now and I'm going to go into autonomy and here you will see that you have link triggers. So let's click on it. So this is where we're going to create link trigger. So let's create it. And now for every option that you're going to send, we will have a separate link trigger. So here we are taking the case where we want to ask our list, which consists of marketeers, about their level, about their stage of their journey. So the first one that we have here is beginner. And uh, that's the stage. So here you can enter any description for marketers who are just beginning there or who are just starting out. We need a redirect URL here, which is a custom URL, which so when they click on beginner, when they click on I'm just starting out, what's the link that you want to redirect them to? So I have created a page here. Let me quickly show you. So let me show you the page. Okay, so that's the page. 
Okay, so there you go. Thank you for updating your information. And then it just says, we are glad to know that you're just starting out on your marketing journey. There's so much information out there that it's easy to get distracted and lost, but not when you have us. And then there's a promise that we will be sending you step-by-step, -step, easy to follow along tutorials. And there's also a call to action where we say, read our most popular blog post for beginners or for marketers who are just starting out. Mm -hmm. So this is the redirect URL. This is the page where we will be sending them to. So I have copied the URL. All right, so the URL, you can paste it over here. This is the URL. So the users will be sent to this page when they click on I am a beginner or I am just starting out. So this is a custom page built for them. You, of course, also have the option to send everyone to the same page, which says thank you for updating your information. So a generic language. Uh, but if you want, you can always go a step further and create separate pages. Now, this is where we get select actions. So you, there are a bunch of actions in the list that you can select from adding list, adding tag, removing, uh, ending automation, removing from list, removing tag, and of course, updating field. Now, the reason why I'm going to choose update field, and I also recommend that you do the same, because if you do add tag, then if the user clicked on option number one and then came back to their email, decided to change their mind and clicked option number two, then two distinct tags will get added to that contact, which will obviously lead your data to get polluted and you won't have the enriched contact profiles that you aim to create with this. So it's best to go with update fields because if even if they change their mind, then uh, the option number one will get replaced by two instead of two distinct tags getting added. Now, this is where you're going to select field. So I've already created a custom field. I've added a field which is called marketing stage. And here I have to enter the value. So I'm just going to call it beginner. That is the value. That's the link trigger that I am generating through this exercise. And then, of course, you can add more action if you want. So in addition to updating fields, if you also want to be able to add them to a list to send them future emails, be able to segment better, then you can select multiple actions in conjunction. So at the moment, I'm just going to go with one, which is updating field and uh, that's it. Uh, then you have the option to log actions as contact note. So you will be able to see when you view a contact in the note section, you will be able to view the actions that ran on the contact. This would again help you get a clearer picture of what's happening. Enable auto login. Well, I will get to that at the end. For now, we'll just have it turned on. Let's log actions as contact notes. Let's enable this. So now that this is done, we're going to hit save. Yes. So you will see this link trigger has been created. It's active. And this is the trigger URL that needs to be copied. And then it needs to be pasted on your email where you have that option written out. So where you write on your email, I'm just starting out. That's where you're going to paste this trigger URL. And here you will be able to see the total clicks that this particular link got, which again is a very, very interesting feature and it will help you get a sense of how users are responding. Now, I'm going to create similar trigger links for intermediary and advanced marketer. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to do it and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've created three link triggers for advanced, intermediary, and beginner. There's a bit of description for each. Uh, the action, the field will get updated. So the action is update field. Auto login, no. Auto login basically means when you want people to be able to click on that particular link trigger and then get automatically logged in to your website. So maybe for uh, updating their subscription status, for uh, renewing their um, account and so on, you can make people auto login into your WordPress website, which is a really nifty and cool feature. This is where you can track the number of clicks that a particular link trigger got. 
So again, it's fabulous for getting a sense of what kind of, uh, you know, what's the sort of proportion of people that exist for each level. So how many advanced marketers you have, how many intermediary you have and so on. And it's also incredibly effective when you are uh, sort of tracking the number of clicks that a freebie that you sent out got or the number of clicks that the yes option got as compared to the no option. The status is, of course, active. So the next step is that we're going to go ahead and create an automation. So let's go into automation. Now here we will add new and we will call it, okay, let's just call it welcome series for marketeers. Add it. Select an event. Now you can select any event that you want. I'm going to select in autonomy, I will select tag is added. So that's what we're gonna select here. And then we're gonna search the tag. So I've created a tag, which is called marketer's level, this one. And yes, all right, let's just track conversions and add it. Now, the simple direct action that we have here is send email. So this is where I'm going to put the body of the email and my subject line is just going to be welcome and a quick question. That's what my email uh, subject line is going to be and I'm going to paste the body here. All right, so this is my email uh, body and I'm just going to address them as hi and I will use the merge tag here for first name. Copy this paste it here. So hi, first name. Thank you for becoming a part of our tribe. We'd like to ask you a quick question. Your answer will help us send you more relevant content, which of the following speaks most to you. I'm just starting out in my marketing journey. I figured out the basics, but wanted to learn more about achieving my performance goals. I'm doing well and want advanced level courses only. So these are the three options that I have for them. I'm going to copy the trigger URL for each of these and paste them here. So let me quickly do that. Okay, so I will go into beginner and I will copy the trigger URL and I am back right here. So I'm going to paste it. Yep, there we go. It's pasted. Similarly, I'll do it for the others. Okay, there you go. So I'm done. Uh, this is for a beginner, intermediary and advanced. Once you're happy with what you've got, well, just click here and the email will get saved automatically. That's it. Mark the automation as active. Yes, that's it. So the automation is ready to run now. Okay, so I've received this email and now I added a tag manually, but of course, in your case, it will be added automatically based on what you set. So these are the three options I got. Now as a user, I'm gonna click on this one. Make sure even when you're testing this out, don't send yourself a test email, actually run the whole process to see how it works. So I'm just gonna select the beginner here. So here I can view my uh, thank you page. It just says, thank you. Uh, thanks for updating information. We are glad to know you're starting out on your marketing journey and so on. Now I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how uh, the field gets updated. All right, there you go. So this is the contact. And as you can notice, well, here you'll say the marketing stage has been updated as beginner. That's the tag I'd manually added to update it, but this is what you're interested in. This is the field and it's updated with the information that the user selected, the user clicked on. And also when you go into contact notes, you can see the action that was performed on them, which is link trigger beginner. So the field was updated. The marketing stage is the field that was updated. So you can see their profile and you can see their marketing stage from here. That brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this content. You enjoyed learning about link triggers. Yes, it's the latest feature of Oronami and I strongly recommend that you go ahead and explore more by clicking on the links in the description box below. And if you have any questions for me, do leave them in the comment box below. I would be happy to take them up and reply. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. I will see you in my next video.